Good afternoon, fellow crafters. Welcome to Teresa Talks Scrapping and Crafting. Today, I am making the 52 Thursdays of Christmas card number six. And you might wonder, what happened to card number four and card number five? Well, I was at my sister's house for the whole month of January, and I got a little bit behind. So, anyhow, um, I want to keep them in order. So, today is card number six. And sometime before the month of February is over, I'll get caught up on card number four and card number five. Um, I've challenged myself this year as I make these um, car Christmas cards and make these videos to um, kind of um, step up as I go along and uh, increase the techniques that I use and increase the level of difficulties in my card cards. Um, I have in the past been a very, very simple card maker and haven't really stepped out of the box. So I'm going to start doing that. I've been watching lots of videos. I've, I've got several channels that I really like. I'll put them down in the description bar below. And um, I just love those, those particular channels. And if you don't already follow them, I suggest you do. Uh, I get lots and lots of inspiration from these gals. So um, I'm giving a shout out to Amy, to um, R, and to of Prairie Paper and Ink, and Kristen of Christie Christ, Christ, Warner Designs, and Christy on Christy Gets Crafty. So I'm giving a shout out to you three ladies uh, because your card videos really, really inspire me. Today, my uh, level of difficulty is uh, I'm kind of stepping outside of the box in the type of uh, card that I'm doing. I have, and you might find this kind of funny, I have never ever made a top folding card. I've always made your standard A2 size cards either top folding so that they're uh, landscape looking so wise or so that they're portrait wise. I've never never made a top folding card that was um, the size. So I want to tell you a, a little bit. I had to experiment and I went ahead and cut the card because I wanted to make sure that it was the right dimensions. But you cut when you want to make a top folding card you cut it at four and a quarter by eleven is your main length of your card four and a quarter by 11 inches and then you score it at five and a half so this card um, is my first ever top folding card now I am going to also link below in the description bar the um, blog that I found the inspiration for this card from um, and my card may come out looking very similar to hers. I think I'm going to use a couple of little different things, but it's probably going to look very similar to hers. So, um, I am going to, I am using these, these three, four pa um, paper patterns. I'm using this um, gray snowflake pattern and then the colored snowflake pattern this red um, checked pattern and then this um, dot pattern. These papers are all from Doodlebug's Home for the Holidays this year, uh, of 20, released for 2013. I'm going to cut these, these um, strips at one inch because I'm going to have four strips along my card. So four of my one inch strips, and I should have cut this gray one twice because I'm going to use the other side of this gray one as well. And then I want to cut this one so that the dots go this way. So let me see if these line up on my card okay, and then I'll show you what else we're going to do with them. Um, yep, 
Yep, they line up perfectly. Okay. All right. So I'm going to put those aside for just a minute. You know, kind of increasing my stash. I've just gotten into dyes and. Okay, so let's cut this and then we'll emboss the um, other strip in just a second. Sorry for the camera shake. Just kind of crazy here. All right, so here we have this little snowflake that I'm going to stamp on in a few minutes. I'll show you what I, we're going to do with that in a minute. Put that aside. And I also have have a Sissix Texture Boutique that I had before a friend of mine gave me this Spellbinders machine. So, um, so we'll use that, this machine. The cute little purse machine. It's actually adorable. And I fell in love with it, and so I got that way before I knew anything about cutting dies. So we will just emboss with this until I get the hang of trying to emboss with the other thing, other machine. And here is our snowflake. I hope you can see that snowflake piece. All right. So let's get to the business of putting this card together. Even though I'm back in my own comfort zone and have my own supplies and all of that jazz, I am still trying to find my way in this video making world here. Um, I kind of am just kind of eyeballing how I want to measure these these strips and I'm just going to use my scissors and cut the four of them together and I'm not really concerned if there's if it's real straight because I'm going to take my corner rounder and I'm going to use the I, this is the we are memory keepers corner chomper and I'm going to use the half inch side and I'm going to round both corners so that it is rounded at the bottom. And do the same with the snowflake embossed piece. I'm going to kind of trim that those off because there's a little little spot that I don't like down at the bottom. Okay. All right, now I'll grab my ATG gun. Or actually, nope, I'm going to use this adhesive. Um, this is Thermoweb, one of my 
one of my go-to tape runners. I'm going to put the middle one on first because I want this, this gray to be in the middle. Oh, I pulled it out of the camera range. Sorry. So I want this, this gray to be right in the middle. Then I have the You know what, maybe I better go from the other side, from the edge. It has been wonderful to get back home. I totally enjoyed my time at my sister's. Please stay tuned pretty soon for the final video of her scrapbook room. I just haven't had time to get that up yet. And I didn't get this one straight, so I'm going to straighten it out. So, um... I am going to hopefully get that up by the end of the weekend, the video that I made, the final video of her scrapbook room, and showed everybody what, what was going on in there. She totally enjoyed me being there. I was worried I wasn't going to be able to get home because we had a huge snowstorm hit North Carolina the day before I had to leave. So, all right, last one. Since I'm still so new to this, I um, am still would love to have some feedback from anyone, and I got kind of got those off centered. So I think. I will take and trim my card down just a little bit so that that is not so off-centered. So anyhow, I would love to have some critique um, about my either my video skills, my uh, camera setup, um, just anything that, that you might think that I could improve on since I am just learning this. Okay, so I'm going to take this piece of ribbon. Well, it's way too long piece of ribbon, anyhow, and add it right there. Turn it over, and I think I've lined the inside of this card white, um, just because I can't stand for elements to show on the inside of a card. And since I didn't make those onto a panel, I need to, to cover that up. So get my scotch tape. This was a trick I learned from another crafter that I follow. Okay, and then 
and then I'll line the inside of the card with some white. Oh, got it crooked. Well, fiddle. Okay, the trick to not getting it crooked is to look on the other side before you, before you tape it down, which I did not do the first time. Okay, so now I've got my, I've got my tape, and I am going to take my white snowflake and stamp it with some just for embossing ink pigment ink pad um my versamark ink pad grew legs and walked out of this scrapbook room so i either have to get another one or i'm hoping that the friend that was here accidentally took it because I haven't seen it since she was here and it was sitting it was by close to where she was sitting so I, and we were all stamping so I'm kind of thinking that maybe that's what happened to it and of course it was completely accidental so so I'm going to stamp this with this embossing ink Kind of look like little hearts on that snowflake. Okay. I got some tweezers I gotta dig out here in a minute for when I get ready to emboss it. Must not got up quite enough ink right there in that one spot. Okay, hold on just one second. Let me dig out these tweezers I need. Out my embossing powder. I think this embossing powder. I think this is going to really bring out the gray in that um, in that paper. Okay, so the snowflake's going to go right there on top of the ribbon. I think I'm going to use pop dots to put it right there, and I have some right over here. This is the assortment that I took to my sister's. And I'm going to use this sentiment hello friend and just stamp it down at the bottom inside so so since my card was four and a quarter by eleven I'm going to cut my white to line my card at four by 
by 10 and a quarter, 10 and three quarters at first. And sorry for not having the cutter on camera. And let me see if I, if this is the right. Yes, that will work. I'm going to kind of fold it there so I'll know where to score it. see if I can get it on camera. So I am scoring it at five and a quarter and one more little mark. <laughs> I'm so measurably challenged. One, two, th five and three eighths. So four, four by five and three eighths is the white inside piece to line the inside of the card. And I am going to use my ATG gun to put adhesive on this. this down make sure this make sure that the score lines line up so that's the inside take my bone folder and crease it Right. And then we will stamp the Hello Friends. And I think we will emboss that as well. I was going to stamp it in black, but I think that I am going to use this again. Sorry, I am just so new at this that, you know, I'm still struggling to make sure that I'm doing it right. And I so want to do it right. So, I am going to stamp this right down here in the bottom. And... still got some ink there. Okay, so there you have it. That's the front of the card. And then the inside. I've got plenty of room to write a message. And when I came up with the design for this card, I really wanted to use these papers. And I was just thinking, well, and then when I got the stamp set out and de de was designing the paper, I thought, I had, had a struggle with trying to figure out which greeting I wanted to use. I had a choice of let it snow, happy holidays, hello friend, or warmest wishes on your birthday. Well, I knew that one was out because I'm making a Christmas card. Let it snow, hmm, well, I, I, I just didn't want to use that. Happy holidays just didn't really fit my snowflake theme, so I thought hello friend, you know, you have a friend that's having a bad December or or just things aren't going well for them, then, you know, I thought, well, 
you know, this could be a generic card that you send out at around Christmas time during the month of December. So there you have it.